Daddy? Do you know that your ex-girlfriend Joan isn't always as elegant as she seems? My daughter asked my husband with a cold smile. What, what are you talking about? I knew you didn't know. Because she is, you know. Dad, see this? I am Martha, 45 years old. I became a nail artist 8 years ago and now run a nail salon at home. After telling myself that success would be waiting for me beyond my patience, I finally made it this far. Beauty-related work has always been my dream. It's the best job to see customers smile with the services I provide. I'm home. One night, my husband Philip came home slightly tipsy grinning all the while. My daughter Brittany and I had already finished taking a bath and were relaxing in the living room. Hey, Philip, what are you grinning at? It's creepy. You see, my childhood friend, who I used to date, ran a restaurant near the station. I was surprised that the restaurant we happened to go to was her place. It seems like she opened it not too long ago. It's amazing how coincidences happen, right? Oh, I see. I gave my husband a cold response. Huh, so that's why my husband was in a good mood. Because he got to see his ex-girlfriend. Plus, the food at the restaurant was amazing. She became a licensed cook after became a single mother. Really impressive. Unlike you, she has shiny, tied-back hair and looks amazing, even while cooking, you know? I've had short, dull, blonde hair this whole time, so I guess I'm no match for her in that regard. I know I don't come off as the elegant type that my husband prefers. I don't really care about becoming the kind of woman my husband likes. Especially not now. My husband is still smiling to himself and lost in thought. Alright, I'm gonna take a shower. Sure, just make sure you clean up after everyone else. Yes, ma'am. After that, my husband went to the bathroom humming to himself. He's so absent-minded after meeting up with his ex-girlfriend. From the next day on, my husband started messaging me like every day at a fixed time. I'm going to drink, so don't bother making dinner. He started coming home after my daughter and I had already fallen asleep. I know that the place he goes to is his ex-girlfriend's restaurant. My husband and I had been married for almost 20 years now, and we both work and have separate finances. So it didn't feel any strange jealousy about my husband using his own time to relax. I was just worried about him spending so much money, going out drinking every day. He's technically a department head, but he's just an ordinary salaryman. I was mulling over those thoughts. One day, when a reminder letter arrived. It said that our car loan hadn't been paid. My husband mainly uses the car, and I only ride in it a few times a month, like when we go to the Home Depot. Could it be that he's spending too much money on drinking and doesn't have enough to pay the loan? As I was looking at the red letter reminder, my husband messaged me as usual. Don't need dinner tonight. The letter about the car loan came. It hasn't been paid yet. I thought it would be better to let him know right away, so I sent the message back saying so. He quickly replied, I know. I couldn't help but be amazed at my husband's nonchalance. Doesn't he realize 
that it could hurt our credit score? Could it be that he doesn't have enough money because he's been going to his ex-girlfriend's restaurant too often? I wanted to say something like that to him, but I didn't get emotional enough to actually pursue it. But that night, my husband came home as usual after messaging me that he was at his ex-girlfriend's restaurant. Huh, aren't you supposed to go drinking today? My daughter Brittany and I were already sitting around the dining table having dinner. The restaurant was closed today. My husband seems pretty upset. Oh, I only made enough for two of us. Oh, I already ate, so don't bother. My husband left the living room expressionless. He probably went to his own room, but I heard a loud sound as he closed the door. As a result of that sound, the photo frame on display in the living room fell with a bang. My daughter and I flinched at the sound. When I picked up the fallen family photo, I noticed that the glass was cracked. A few weeks later, it was my daughter Brittany's 15th birthday today. She had been studying piano since she was five years old and was good at music. She played the saxophone in the wind ensemble. She was also a proud daughter with high academic performance. Although I was a bit concerned about her tendency to argue, she had grown up well. I had already told my husband that we were going to celebrate our daughter's birthday at home tonight. Even so, my husband didn't come home. I sent messages and made calls, but I couldn't reach him. It's already 8 p.m. and he still hasn't come back, so should we start without him? Sure, that's fine. He's probably at his girlfriend's restaurant again. I couldn't help feeling uneasy about what he was doing on our daughter's birthday. Brittany, happy birthday! I lit the long candles on the decoration cake with cute strawberries on top. We reserved this cake at the cake shop our daughter likes. I turned off the lights in the room and sang a happy birthday with a smile. Thank you, Mom. I'm really grateful that she's grown up healthy until now. I gave my daughter a birthday present that I had prepared for her. Thank you, Mom. Wow, this is the one I wanted. The contents were clothes from her favorite brand that my daughter wanted. Yay! I love you, Mom. She hugged me and said that while holding me tightly. Hey! When the two of us were taking pictures in various poses, my husband's voice suddenly came from behind. He seems to be quite drunk and in a bad mood. Oh, you're back. Dad, did you go drinking again? When my daughter asked that, my husband, whose tongue seems to be tight, replied as if he had hit the nail on the head. Yeah, but what's the matter? I've been telling you for a while that we are having a birthday party today. So you come straight home after work, right? When I said that, my husband gave a surprise to reply. You see, my ex-girlfriend Joanne is a single mother. So I have to contribute to the restaurant sales to help her, you know? Don't you understand? It's only natural to help a friend in need, isn't it? I have to help her, don't I? My husband collapsed onto the floor in a drunken stupor. At the same time, all the food I had prepared for my daughter's birthday crashed into the ground with a loud bang. It seemed that the tablecloth had been pulled off when my husband fell. He's a loser. 
my daughter was appalled. My husband had ruined her birthday party. What was he thinking? Prioritizing his ex-girlfriend over his own daughter. This was the first time I had ever felt angry at my husband. Hey, mom, what should we do with him? My daughter and I looked down at my husband on the floor. We both agreed that we would leave this sloppy man as he was. Sorry, honey. I'll buy another cake tomorrow. It's okay. The cake that you had already cut, it's still good. Mom, let's split this remaining cake in half. My daughter is such a good kid. Even though today was her special day, she was willing to share the last remaining piece of cake with me. Yeah, thank you. Shall we eat it together on the sofa? We cleaned up the mess on the floor, split the cake in half, and ate it together. My husband was still sound asleep, probably enjoying himself with his ex-girlfriend in his dreams. In the morning, my husband rushed around, trying to get ready for a meeting. Why did you wake me up earlier? I have a meeting first thing in the morning. He complained while tying his tie. I hadn't heard anything about a meeting, nor did I care. But I feel sick. Well, of course, if you sleep on a heart flowing without covering yourself with a blanket, you'll catch a cold. In my cold stare at my husband, the word separation pops up in my mind. No, actually, wouldn't divorce be better? For the past few years, it seems like we've just been coexisting. I can receive child support until our daughter graduates from high school, and I can continue to work from home. So I think it would be better to do it sooner rather than later. I called my daughter, who was out, and casually told her about it. Hey. Can you transfer the overdue car loan payment for me tomorrow? Why me? Can't you do it yourself online? And I'm not going to pay for it. I'm not good at that kind of stuff, so I'm asking you. My husband said with an angry tone. Hey, you can't ask people like that. And it's your fault we couldn't make the payment. Shut up. You sometimes use the car too, don't you? It's not sometimes, it's rarely. As we both became more heated, my daughter came back home. What? Are you guys fighting? Brittany asked with a slightly exasperated expression. Hi, honey. Sorry. We just had a difference of opinion. When I said so, my husband continued to complain. You really have no charm. Even Brittany is becoming like you. Always talking back. As my husband said this, I glared at him, and so did my daughter. My ex-girlfriend is so sweet and elegant, you know. Oh, well, I should have married her instead of you. In that case, why don't you go and be with your ex-girlfriend now? Do whatever you want. What? I was going to do that anyway. To me, you are nothing anymore. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. It's the same for me. Feeling disgusted, I instantly felt a rush of blood to my head. At that moment, my daughter asked my husband with a cold smirk on her face. Daddy, do you know that your ex-girlfriend Joanne isn't always as elegant as she seems? What do you mean? What do you know about her? I guess you really don't know. Because she is, you know, 
Dad, see this? Then she showed him a video on her phone of a group of people dressed in flashy clothes singing passionately. The customers at the small live house were also bobbing their heads and moving their bodies to the music. That ex-girlfriend of yours, she's actually the vocalist for a heavy metal band. Did you know? As Philip stared at the video, his eyes widened gradually. See, she's only elegant when she's in public. Don't you agree, Dad? My husband started shaking uncontrollably. I wonder how my daughter knew that my husband's ex-girlfriend was the vocalist for this heavy metal band. Well, you see, my piano teacher is friends with your ex-girlfriend. And a while ago, she took me to a live house where many bands performed. That's how I found out about your ex-girlfriend. Anyway. She can sing in whatever outfit she wants, right? It's not like she's causing any trouble for you, is she? Yeah, you're right, honey. I agree to my daughter. Hey, Dad, I have a proposal. My husband, still in shock, turns to my daughter. How about leaving this house? You don't have to come back here anymore. My daughter fiercely speaks to her father. Hey, mom, do you remember what I asked for when I passed the high school entrance exam? It's about the cat. Oh, the cat! I remember. My daughter had always wanted to have a cat, but had given up on the idea because my husband was allergic to cats. Then, my daughter left the living room and returned with a carrier bag for animals. Inside the bag is a silver kitten that mews. One of my friend's cats had a litter of American short-haired kittens. She asked me if I wanted one. I just didn't want to be separated from this kitten, so I brought it home. That's why I want you. Dad, who is allergic to cats, to leave this house. My husband's eyes were already bloodshot, and he was making a sound as he sniffled. Hey, hey, what are you doing, Brittany? You are doing something selfish. But Dad, you always do selfish things, don't you? You don't value mom as me, and you prioritize other women. Like I don't want a dad like that. I don't want to be with you. Do you understand? My husband and daughter were on the brink of a fight. It was my turn. I'm asking you too. Please leave. We don't need each other anymore, right? Is there any point in being together? Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to my ex-girlfriend's place then. As my husband was leaving, sniffing and crying, we said in unison, "Goodbye." Goodbye. Then, at that moment, intercom rang. I checked the front door monitor and saw a man and a woman standing there. Hello. I turn on the intercom. Um, is this the Philip Miller's residence? Yes, it is. Who may I ask is visiting? As I answered, my daughter said, "Oh, it's Joanne." Huh? You mean the ex-girlfriend? I hurried to open the front door. Excuse me for the sudden visit. I'm Joanne. Is Philip here? I tried to go to call my husband, but he was already at the entrance. 